Gaming Bolt presents 15 Easter Eggs in God of War You May Have Missed. SIE Santa Monica's God of War is a huge game with numerous realms to explore, several hidden bosses, and interesting loot to find. It's hard to overstate just how much there is to discover if you look carefully enough from powerful weapons to references of previous games. Let's take a look at 15 God of War Easter Eggs and Secrets that you should keep an eye and an ear out for. Spoilers, as usual, abound. The Beginning Slab Remember those murals seen in Jotunheim later in the game? The murals that show Kratos' encounter with the World Serpent and the final battle with Baldur? You can actually see those happen at a much earlier point in the game, namely on the giant stone slab dropped on Baldur in the very first fight. It's a neat hidden detail that can be seen while in Spartan Rage mode if you look carefully. Steelbook Runes Secrets abound in the newest God of War, right down to the steelbook included with the special edition. The inscription is written in Elder Futhark, so it may seem like nothing special. However, Redditor Wolfstrong1995 and the collective internet managed to decipher it, revealing the following message. This is the story of a bear and a wolf, who wandered the Realms Nine to fulfill a promise of one before. They walk the twilight path, destined to discover the truth that is to come. Essentially, this is the story of God of War, hinting at more than we might realize. A Hidden Ending to get the Sword of Super secret ending, Kratos and Atreus must return home and be sent off to bed. A time skip will then take place where the pair are interrupted again by a mysterious stranger. Though his face isn't shown, the magical hammer and copious amounts of thunder pretty much confirm it to be Thor. A tease for a future encounter? One can certainly hope. Myths from other cultures In Tyr's treasure chamber, you'll find myths from various other cultures referenced like the Mayans. It's rather interesting because it provides further confirmation of the various myths being connected in this one large world. Of course, it could also tease Kratos meeting them at some point later as well. The Infinity Gauntlet Avengers Infinity War is still all the rage, but we commend God of War for getting in on the act so close to the film's launch. In the game, there's a weapon called the Shattered Gauntlet of Ages, which is very clearly the Infinity Gauntlet. You even have to venture forth on a quest to find six components to fully power it up, much like the six Infinity Stones. When does Atreus spout about not feeling so good before disintegrating into dust? That's probably in the sequel. The Boat Captain's Key Remember the Boat Captain in God of War 1? The same unfortunate soul that Kratos kicked straight down the Hydra's mouth also appeared in God of War 2, and was briefly mentioned in God of War 3. In the current God of War though, there's the Boat Captain's Key, which is a treasure map of sorts. In it, there will be references to the very same Hydra and Captain. No matter where Kratos goes, the Boat Captain will always follow. E3 2016 Callback In the original E3 2016 reveal demo, Kratos and Atreus were ambushed at a bridge by a troll. However, not only does this not happen in the final game, but Atreus will even make mention of how he half expected a troll to live under the bridge. Later, the same troll is fought as a boss. Charlie When Atreus was first revealed at the E3 2016 reveal, GameSpot called him Charlie by mistake. We didn't learn Atreus' real name until later, but the game's writers vowed to include Charlie somewhere in the story as a joke. Lo and behold, the giant tortoise that lives above Freya's home in the final game is called Charlie. Far Body Spoiler alert, if you haven't finished the game, turn back now. When you travel to Jotunheim's mural room, you'll find out the name that the Norse bestowed to Kratos. He's called Far Body, who is the husband of Laufey in Norse mythology, or Fey as the story would have it. He's also the father of Loki, also known as the name given to Atreus. Fae's Guidance Throughout the journey in God of War, Kratos and his son know which places to climb thanks to specific markings. It's only near the end of the journey that Atreus calls attention to Fae having made the final marking. As it turns out, Fae made all the markings. Director Cory Balrog confirmed this later, so Fae essentially guided the pair throughout the story before it even began. Forbidden Grip of the Ages If you purchased the special edition of God of War, then a map containing Nordic runes would have been included. This is more than just a pretty piece of paper. The internet discovered that it was the key to finding a treasure created by Brock and Sindri. This treasure, the Forbidden Grip of the Ages, is in Muspelheim Tower and can be claimed after a long, arduous process. It's more than worth it though, adding 12 points to Kratos' strength, 
10 points to his other stats, and an explosive finisher to his combos. Kratos' Story Though Kratos does eventually tell his son the truth, there's a point where hints to the previous saga abound. While traveling on the lake, Kratos tells the story of a horse who made a deal with a man to kill a stag for revenge. Once the stag was dead, however, the horse was enslaved by the man. On being asked whether giving up freedom for revenge was worth it, Kratos replies, it was not. Stargate SG-1 Reference If you are not a fan of the dad jokes that Kratos' new voice actor Christopher Judge recently told, then you'll be happy to hear that he was Teal'c in Stargate SG-1. Teal'c would say, indeed, in every episode, and almost as a tribute to the same, Kratos replies, indeed, to Atreus at one point before ascending the mountain. The Helheim Bird On visiting Helheim, you probably noticed a large bird in the Gatekeeper's arena. Though it's not explained outright, many are theorizing that this is one of the three ravens, or roosters, whichever you prefer, whose crowing signifies the start of Ragnarok. Freya's Vengeance Complete the quest to slay all the Valkyries, and eventually their queen Sigrun reveals that Freya was the original Valkyrie queen. This is before Odin would rob Freya of her powers, and curse her to live without being able to defend herself. After the main story ends, however, Freya speaks to Mimir about where Odin hid her Valkyrie wings. Mimir then comments that the cycle of vengeance is not so easily broken, which means Freya could battle Kratos at some point in a future sequel. And that about does it for this video. If you enjoyed what you watched and want to see more from Gaming Bolt, you can always hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon next to it. That way you will never miss any of our videos.